Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and who's gonna get that XRP money, son? I'll tell you what, I'm in line. In fact, my bags are packed. They have been completely packed for a good couple months or so to this point, and now I'm just like sitting back. I've been watching the fireworks, got me some popcorn. We got the Orville Redenbacher, all that nonsense, and there seems to be quite the consensus about XRP uh, m mooning above above. <laughs> Such a dorky term. By the way, just to be clear, uh, like in my name, I, there's so many new people coming aboard. I haven't mentioned this on uh, like quite a while. I have a sense of humor, and my name, Moon Lambo, was designed to be the stupidest name in the entire XRP community. So you let me know if I hit the nail on the head, but it's just, I, I entered the space late 2017, and people were literally typing, Win Moon, Win Lambo. I thought it was stupid as hell and funny. It made me laugh, so I just smashed them together, and that's my name now. Moon Lambo. But anyway, there seems to be a consensus among chart analysts that uh, sooner than later, you're going to be seeing a $1 plus XRP. A couple of levels to hit in the short term in the 70 cent range. And I'm going to highlight that. So here, here's a headline from News BTC. Analyst written by analyst, I don't know how to say his name. It's because the, the name's foreign to me. I'm, I'm bad with foreign names. But anyway, Ayush Jindal. Anyway. Uh, charted XRP signaling sharp increase to 72 cents in near term. I'm going to show you in a moment another analyst that says uh, 78 cents is the level to watch. But that's what's always interesting. When I see a bunch of analysts roughly calling for the same thing, I just think huh, maybe maybe there's something to this because that's what I that's what I saw in uh, the, the you know the several days leading up to XRP going from what, what 29 or 30 cents up to uh, damn near a dollar. Uh, just recently, and so it's you know I'm just 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 following because like I don't pretend to be some sort of chart wizard. I certainly am not. And to be clear, I don't have a financial background of any kind, so uh, I'm not offering financial advice. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I just think it's fun to talk about this stuff as a as a hobby and make YouTube videos. It's a good time, but that is all that it is. So I'll be running through that and a little bit more. But before we go further, if you would please delicately tap the like button, I'd appreciate it. And continue, and also uh, consider subscribing to the Moon Lambo channel, because, uh, I don't know, I promise you might not regret it. That's, that's about as far as I can go, though. All right, and uh, as I record this, XRP's at 62 cents, Bitcoin's at 18,000. Uh, $961 market cap for the asset class, $569 billion and Bitcoin dominance at 61.77%. And you just wait. I'm telling you, by the end of this market cycle, that is going to be substantially lower. In late 2017 or, or early 2018, I can't... It was probably more more so January, but uh, maybe mid-January. I'd have to go back and look further in the chart. It doesn't matter for the sake of this video, but uh, Bitcoin dominance did get down to about 35%. And so I, I fully anticipate that will happen as we see an altcoin rally. And there will be, be a time where, you know, you never see the type of dominance, you know, 60, 70 percent per Bitcoin um, ever again. And the only people that dispute that are Bitcoin maximalists that say there will be one coin to rule them all. And I say they're a bunch of silly goose that silly geese that pluralize that properly. You have silly geese. I'm not on board with that. All right. Here's a chart analyst Moonshilla. And uh, he tells his 96,200 followers on Twitter uh, this is actually a, a longer thread. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it dates back to November 23rd, just kind of citing the directions he was looking for and kind of hitting the nail on the head. And he said, uh, done, based on what he was previously expecting. He says, next, and this is just earlier today when he wrote this, <clears throat> next is 78.6 cents. And then he wrote, $1, here we come, XRP. Would not mind that one bit. And that's another analyst saying that. Um, here's a, a quote, uh, this is about Bitcoin from Josh Rager. He's also got quite the massive following, 93,300 followers. Um, and so he wrote, how quickly Bitcoin got bought up and recovered on that dip to 18,100 is quite bullish. Yeah, and indeed, so uh, Bitcoin, after recently hitting uh, all-time high on certain exchanges, it, it, it did have a dip. But um, as I cited here, I mean, obviously it's it's rebounded 18,950. So it looks like that indeed was uh, quite the buying opportunity. And he also wrote the following. And this is very worth being aware of, especially if you're new to the world of crypto, uh, because you this is the most volatile asset class on the entire planet. And there is not a close second. So Josh Rager wrote the following. There will be plenty of 20 percent to 30 percent pullbacks along the way to the next peak high. What matters is what you do during them. And so f for me, um, you know, when I was purchasing, I, I purchased for damn near three years straight dollar cost averaging. In, and I finally got to the point a couple years, uh, not a couple years ago, a couple months ago, after a couple of larger purchases, I, I just was like, okay, 
I gotta stop. If not, I have a serious problem. Like I, I, I can't, I can't be, uh, I can't be just endlessly throwing. But at some point, it's just you gotta be like, okay, okay. Uh, and then diversify a little bit further into other stuff. So I finally reached that point. But, but other than that, I was just dollar cost averaging in. And so if, there are a lot of other people though that don't regularly purchase, and that's it's fine. It's just a different strategy than what I did because I wasn't worried about price. The, you know, the, the whole time I was buying, but. Some people, they'll just, uh, they will wait until they, there are these massive pullbacks and then they'll purchase. But for me, I just wanted a, a nicer blend, you know, uh, you know, that kind of, you know, whatever. My, I just looked at it this way. Whatever my um, ultimate entry point was going to average out to be, I just wanted it to be representative of basically that entire period of, of, of nearly three years. And I think I got it. I, I would say, it, even though I did a couple larger purchases towards the end, I think I actually probably got that. I didn't get calculated at some point. I I think my average entry price was uh, about 25 cents. That would be my best guess. So, uh, but, but mind you, like, I, and I mentioned this on the channel the other day, I've been in the space for three years and I was down for almost all of those three years and I didn't, I just didn't care. I was just like, nope, this is a market cycle. I'm just going to purchase and eventually it will go up. And here we are. Finally, I'm up because <laughs> I've been waiting. And I still think even the prices today, um, I certainly, this is not financial advice again, like I said, but I certainly suspect even the prices you're seeing today with XRP at 62 cents, I think that this is going to be looked at in the years to come as dirt cheap. And people will be wishing that they could have gotten in at 62 cents. But you know, thoughts like that, like you need to have a long-term mindset and then just be optimistic for the space in general because it's all tethered together. And so, and I, and I do personally. All right, into this piece now. Again, XRP signaling sharp increase to 72 cents in near term. Um, here we go. After a sharp downside correction, XRP price found support near the 45 cent level. Uh, the price started a fresh increase and recovered above uh, the 50 cent and 52 cent resistance levels. Um, and then they're going to talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, yeah, actually, I don't know. Let me go a little bit lower. I wanted to cover, I think, this. There we go. Uh, there was a break above a major contracting triangle with resistance at 62 cents on the four hours chart of uh, the XRP USD pair. The pair is now trading well above 62 and a half cents and the 100 simple moving average of four hours. And this is just from slightly earlier today. I think just a couple hours or so ago, anyway, when they wrote this. But um, it, it seems like the price is struggling to gain momentum above the 66 uh, cent level uh, or the 61.8% Fib retracement level of the downside correction from the, uh, from the 78.87 cent high uh, to 45.04 swing low. A clear break above the 66 cent and 66 and a half cent levels might call for a move towards the 70 cent resistance. The next key resistance sits at 72 cents where the bulls might take a stand. And so again, what I'm saying, seeing from most traders that I'm following, if you've been following the videos I've been, where I've been talking about price over the last few days, this is the type of messaging that has persisted for, for days. This, this level of confidence that this is what is perhaps more likely than not to occur. Um, and then there was uh, this, this, uh, this is another analyst, uh, a writer for uh, News BTC. XRP could see a strong push higher as bulls degrade key resistance. And this is just from a couple hours or so ago as well. Uh, I'll tell you, News BTC, they don't like Ripple and they don't like XRP, but they do like to write about it. That much I know. Uh, holy hell. And it's only picking up. Ever since XRP broke out of the tight multi-year trading range that it was previously stuck in, the cryptocurrency has been caught within a strong uptrend that has shown no signs of slowing down. Bulls have been in full control of the previously embattled cryptocurrency, and the recent rebound seen across the entire market appears to be boosting XRP's technical outlook as well. And then, by the way, this is after years of Doomsday article articles from this exact outlet doomsday and so it's just it's it's nice to see this <laughs> the crypto is now in the process of moving up towards a key resistance level that has long been hampering its price action the visit to this level comes in the midst of bitcoin and ethereum both entering full-fledged bull trends with bitcoin setting fresh all-time highs earlier today before facing a rejection at nineteen thousand eight hundred dollars that appears to have sparked another consolidation phase. Yeah, so widespread acknowledgement among analysts that yes, we're you know, gonna have to deal with a little bit of consolidation before bursting up to higher, perhaps above $20,000. So right here, it remains unclear whether this consolidation phase will be short-lived or persist in the days to come, 
but the resistance between $19,500 and $20,000 does appear to be degrading. And that's why most analysts that I'm following don't think it's going to take that long to bur burst through it. And so even if XRP lags behind Bitcoin, it'll be, it'll be real neat to see what happens because what's, what's interesting is despite the quick run-up in Bitcoin price, which is important to us as XRP holders because XRP and every altcoin follows Bitcoin, fine, it was a, over a 30-day period rather, um, rather notable, let's say. But... Uh, <laughs> Bitcoin can be way more parabolic than that, and I suspect we're going to see some fireworks that uh, look much more serious than what we've seen in November. And analysts seem to think that uh, is the case. And historically, you've seen that type of behavior from Bitcoin, so it doesn't seem remotely crazy or bizarre to suspect that's going to be in the cards in the future, especially as more institutional money comes in and, and more retail investors are jumping in the space realizing, hey, there actually is something to this whole crypto and Bitcoin and that thing. Uh, it's it's just it it will persist and more people will always be onboarded. That's um, one analyst is now noting that XRP is poised to rally higher against the back this backdrop of bullishness seen by Bitcoin and other digital assets. He believes that a break above sixty five cents is all that is needed for it to gain some immense momentum and begin rallying higher. And so there you go. You've got uh, an analyst that says 65 cents. You've got one that says, uh, so talking about 72 cents, 78 cents. And so it, it's like they're never, because they're, they're doing their own independent analysis and reading the charts the best that they can. I, I suspect they are operating in good faith. But it's, it's like uh, they're not all that far off. And they have the same general message. The macro trend is still in play. You're looking at roughly somewhere in these levels in the short term. And uh, in the vast, it's the vast majority of at this point are, are, are talking about one, two, three, four dollar XRP being in the cards. So to me, it's just a matter of time. I don't pretend to know when that's going to happen. But to me, it would be strange if we never got back to XRP's all time high and entered this new range of price discovery ultimately. So I'm just going to enjoy the ride. Thanks for coming along with me because I'm having a blasty blast with all this silliness here. Crypto is ridiculous. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I tell you what, I, I, I may have invested a fair bit of my own money, but I sleep easy at night because I have done enough research to understand what I have put my money in. And I understand how uh, humans behave in terms of their emotional buying and selling. And I understand that even when there are retracements and price goes down, uh, the way it is in the nascency of this, this art as a class today, it really doesn't have anything to do with the usefulness or long-term viability of XRP. It's just it's just people emotionally buying and selling just for the sake of it. They just are. That's it. And then they copy each other. If enough people start selling, then even more people see that. And then they start selling. And that's all it is. But then there are people like me that get that. And then we'll just purchase your fear if we're in the market to purchase, which is what I did. I spent three years purchasing people's fear. That's what it was. When they were selling it out of fear, I was just buying it. And now here we are. And how it's boom back. So it's, it's done what I was in a general sense expecting it to do. I just never pretended to know uh, what the timeline exactly would look like. And I don't make price predictions. I just understand that market cycles are a real thing and people are going to keep behaving like this. And I love that they do it because now that I, I'm aware of it and I have been for some time, I'm just um, taking that information and using it to my advantage, which for me simply means dollar cost average in, which I did and I've stopped now and uh, then just hold. That's it. It's not a complex way to go about it. I, I, I don't pretend to be super sophisticated. It's just some very basic information that is needed to be able to, to, to realize it makes sense to behave like that. But it really, even having the information, like, that most people don't have. And even if they do, they lack the discipline to follow through with what logic would tell them would be to their benefit. And I don't have trouble with that. I just sit here. I do not emotionally buy and sell. I'm having a fun time with this. I'm like, let the lemmings do what they're going to do. And I'm just going to sit back and watch with my Orville Redenbacher and uh, watch the show. Watch the fireworks. It's a good time. But that is it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. So that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.